All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome to Freshly Brewed. Shall we build it? I can we just freaking play it? Halloween is over, but we're doing a little night before before Christmas stuff here. Um, skeletons, corpses of a loss is an enchantment from uh, the new set that makes uh, your skeletons get plus some of haste. Also, can make some tokens and stuff like that. We're playing a store the best brewers format. I know Timeless is out. Timeless is gonna be really really fun. I will play Timeless for sure, but Timeless is gonna be like legacy, like cutthroat hardcore. You know, freaking. Uh, d demonic tutors and dark rituals and encounter spells, lightning bolt, swords, polish shares. It's not going to be a good brewer's format. It's going to be very, very fun. We'll play it, but still playing a story, the best brewer's format out there. And uh, Corpus of a Lost. Also, Skeletal Swarming, kind of a fun, uh, forgotten rare from the D&D set. Five minute enchantment. Each skeleton you control is trample, plus X plus so, and attacks each combat if able. And it's pumped for the other skeletons, and then you make a skeleton every turn. So, between swarming and corpses, there's a bunch of ways to pump your skeletons that are enchantments, which is super, super cool. And uh, our skeleton lineup is, you know, it's okay. Uh, a couple of one drops here, Changing Outcast, Cult Conscript, Gutter Ball. We got Mimic and the Lords pumping things up here with Death Baron and Met. Phase of Stage is an awesome card for any tribal that's looking for another, another, another member here. And we got this weird one here, Legion Reconstructor, which can reanimate stuff. Kind of cool as well. Company. Holding it together, not the best company deck. We only have like so many creatures that are a decent size, but we'll, we're gonna try it out. Our most important cards are enchantments, but you know we're playing green, so we're playing company. Mutavault, Vault, Lands, Thoughtseize, Grave Pact, a cool sideboard card against the uh, other creature decks. A couple bats, a little graveyard hate. You get the idea. So that's the deck. Let's get right to the games. Brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, YouTube folks, real fast before we start. First off, hit the like button. Support the content. Helps a ton. It's the holidays. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Also important, after the like button, holiday carts. All right, YouTube folks. If you're a member on YouTube or a Twitch sub, I do a holiday card every year, including a signed Jim Davis token. This year's token, which is a Cassian map token, it's phenomenal. A couple other goodies as well, and the holiday card. This is free for all folks who support me via, 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 via being a pile driver, which is a Twitch sub or a YouTube member, $5 a month. Best way to support me, I don't have Patreon. This is what I use instead. And uh, access to the Discord, we do free events in the Discord, all the perks of being a pile driver, five bucks a month. Best way to support me, monetarily again for free hit the like button that works out really, really really well too but get your holiday card i don't want you to miss out get in the discord get me your info as soon as possible and get it on it all right let's go let's play some games chat coming out of me playing first the old skeletons we got swarming baron corpses mimic outcast no third land you gotta keep this though right that's pretty good so we're gonna keep all right so Poor though, the Ka the Khan's fetch lands are on arena now. Uh, they are in the new timeless format. They are not in historic. Thank God. Historic is a very important format to me. I love historic, and I want it to keep being the fun format that it is. All right, so Pawn's playing wizards. They're actually gonna, just gonna stomp us, unfortunately. Uh, wizard seems unbelievably good against this deck. Just like super fast clock, cheap removal spells. But we'll do our we'll try our best, obviously. But all right, attack for one. Play them making Sega. This is a real tough test for us. If you missed it, Timeless is uh, a new format. Basically, like, Legacy, Vintage on Arena. Uh, every card's unbanned. So very few cards are restricted. And uh, the Fetchlands are legal there. It's going to be fun. We're going to play that for sure. Uh, but it's going to be, you know, Oko, Demonic Tutor, Necropotence, Natural Order, Sneak Attack, whatever. It's going to get, you know, it's going to get a little wild. So, Sleight of Hand, Attack for three. I mean, I guess we're going to Corpses. See. Actually, it's funny. Death Baron's actually a zombie wizard. It's not actually a skeleton, but... I mean, we're gonna jam. Damn. We're still alive. We have our anti synergy here of the tapped creatures with the skeleton with the corpses. That's fine, though. Just gonna play Baron next turn and see what happens. Yeah, it's, it's funny. It's like kind of like Legacy on Arena, but there's no Force of Will. And, like, a lot of cards that are banned in Legacy, like Necropotence, Demonic Tutor, and stuff, are legal. Which is interesting. So, here's EI. I think he's won this game. Fetchlands are a disaster. 
Uh, they make mana bases far too easy. They fill the graveyard. They just do way, way too much. They're way too good. They change the texture of a format by a lot. And, you know, they'll never be removed from Modern or Legacy because they're just like what the formats are. I think it's more fun to not have them. Um, I think they cause more problems than they, and they, and then they you know, kind of create. And it's just a, a big design mistake. Fetchland, you know, dual land, shock land, trial mana bases are far too easy. Um, I just think they're they're a mess. And uh, love that that they are not in historic. Wow. Game. All right. Uh, well, they didn't play a single removal spell, so we just stomped them on the play. Obviously, I'm very worried about being on the draw here, but but yeah, um, I think that uh, I think that you know they're they're fun in their formats, but I think that historic for me. Uh, the mayor of a stork, which is not a joke. I mean, no one loves more stork more than I do. I think that the the biggest draw to a stork is it being a unique format uh, that is unlike all the other formats. And it's the perfect brewer's paradise, and this does everything. So, all right. So, uh, corpses, power nine, and timeless. I mean, I think they should go nuts, timeless. If, if it's going to be a you know, legacy vintage or whatever, to make it what it is, you know, but it'll be fun. I think it'd be cool. The thing is, like, once you add power and stuff, like now every deck is uh, homogenized, where like your first twenty cards are just set. You're just playing ten boxes, whatever, whatever not five boxes, Lotus, and so on. What if they made it a hundred card format? Just like instead of playing sixty cards, you play a hundred cards. That way, you're you're still going to play a lot of cards in your deck, because uh, you're in your kind of like opening up a little bit. Might be kind of a fun way to like allow you to play with the powerful cards, but by increasing the deck size, you're still playing a lot of interesting cards too. Not Singleton, but I don't know. It could be, be kind of cool. Um, all right. So, sideboarding against the... We don't have any rule spells, really. Like, we're just... Again, I think they're going to destroy us, but... Uh, let's run it back. I think Swarming's kind of rough against them, honestly. Grave Pact. It's probably too clunky, honestly. Right, let's bring Grave Packs. Cut to Swarming. Cut to Swarming... Just got through Swarmings. Five man enchantment against the wizard deck is pretty crazy, so. Okay, all right, maybe I should have cho cho chosen a different number. Because probably whenever, whenever everyone hears 100, they just think Commander or, 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 or Brawl. If I said 110 cards or like 105 cards, you'd, th you'd think about it more clearly. Uh, this hand is like. It's fine. Again, our our deck not really having any removal is obviously gonna be bad against decks like this, but Let's see what happens. Make a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you. We never don't need more formats in arena. There are way too many formats in arena right now as it is, but I'm just saying as a way to like balance you know, because the, the, the problem with the, the Eternal formats is that you only have, like, you know, so you have 20 lands, you have 10 pieces of power, and then 10 other cards that are just, like, you know, staples you must play. You only actually have, like, 10 variable slots in your entire deck, which is, like, not very fun because you don't have to play many cards. So, like, I'm looking for a way to kind of mitigate that. So they go tap land into... What are they doing? It's, like, the worst Wizards draw of all time. We have Mass Fan on the sideboard. Deck was on the overlay, as always, courtesy of untapped.gg. They're not killing anything? What is going on? Opponent's giving us a little gift right now, honestly. What's up, Nickel Golas? Yeah, fetch lands are crazy, so. Just nothing again? I kind of want to guess Grave Pact. I mean. They get a wrap me or something like that? I don't know what they're going to do. They have like Volcanic Fallout. Is that card on Arena? Alright, Name Skeleton gets a counter. Gonna attack. Should I play a tap land? So you can guarantee Great Pack next turn. They have Cinderclasm. Flame of Anor. Draw two cards. What is going on? Like, I just want to know. I'm curious. Strangle. This has got to be like 
the worst two draws I have seen from a Wizards deck ever. Normally, like, the most consistent deck you've ever seen. Here's Soul Scar Mage. There's Corpses of a Lost. Um, I kind of want to cast Grave back, honestly. If I play Pack, though, and they kill something in response, they did, they did Shock, right? Yeah, we'll just play Corpses, I guess. All right, here's Corpses of a Lost. Corpses of a Lost. Killing like a response, sure. There's no way they, there's no way they spell piercing for deck against us. It's not a chance. So we still get a 3-2 haste. Still get the jam. We also can we we can bounce, we don't have to bounce this. I don't think we're going to. Um we draw a lamb and go mimic in this thing next turn, which is kinda cool, so it's a little decline. Keep it in play as a, an anthem effect and a haste effect. Here's an iteration. Again, this should be like just destroying us. Just like a deck full of cheap threats and one minor removal spells should be a, the kind of deck that eats this deck alive. But draw a card. Flame of Anor. I guess they have a land drop, right? Alright, there it is. Fool of a took. All right, so they're going to kill my thing and draw some cards. Sure. This is fine, obviously. I mean, drawing a land would be sweet. Give me this thing haste is actually insane. Wait, this is a vampire? Oh, no. No. I just had typed in skeleton. I assumed that every card that I had was a skeleton. Why didn't anyone say something? Ah, oh, come on. Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to Freshly Brewed. So it's not actually a skeleton itself. Oh, that's a huge bummer. I got to... We gotta do something. Thanks again, sub. Appreciate that. God, I know it makes a skeleton, but I oh, it stinks. All right, so we're just gonna just gonna attack them, right? Just play this thing on skeleton, and it was mute vault. Do this. It's not a skeleton. Unbelievable. Here's a hive. Just attack for eight, but then one. Seems pretty good, right? Like, man, not a skeleton. I I gotta I gotta I gotta, I gotta cut this card. We gotta cut this card, folks. No way I don't change Freshly Brewed decks, but I screwed up. If this card was a skeleton, that'd be great. Obviously, it's a freaking vampire. I didn't even notice. I want to suck your blood. No, nah, it's not good enough. <laughs> Giving it haste with corpses was, was a big was a big deal. So we can attack immediately and stuff. Yeah, this, this card sucks. There's other, other options. Haste is, like, pretty sweet, you know? Alright, so they're at one. We have a Hive of the Eye Tyrant, a Muta Vault, a bunch of attackers... A grave pact. An unblockable creature just by itself. It makes skeletons really, really slowly. Gix? I don't know. There's like a lot of cards that, uh... That's kind of sweet. So we, we cast company and we it to get, make two skeletons with haste. I guess they all come in, all come in tapped, but... I'd be very surprised if they had, if they had a uh, counter spell here. Play a fire of this thing, sure. How many skeletons can we get? Uh, so this thing is unblockable. Get this guy too. All right, so uh, two unblockable outcasts sitting in a tree. Wow! I have never seen draw so bad. Uh, Put an asterisk in that game is like that that I, that should not have happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so heads up, YouTube. Uh, I cut that bad card that wasn't a skeleton, and I added in four copies of the Coalition Construct, which seems better than Death Baron. Honestly, this thing will pump all of our stuff perpetually. It also counts as the skeleton itself, and then it, it's perpetual, so the ones in the graveyard come back and stuff too. So kind of cool. So, all right, upgraded version on the play. It's pretty bad. I can't keep this in, unfortunately. Uh, if it had a two drop or a company or an enchantment, I think I would keep, but we can't keep this in. Just, uh, it's like overgrown, you know, bog, hive, nothing. Yeah, it's mulligan. Ugh. All right, sure. Um, yeah, this is fine. Keep this. Shift the overgrown tomb. Our mana's perfect anyway. All right, what's first, conscript or gutter bowling? 
Gutter ball. Two bogs. Just a little bit of extra value in our lands. Gutter ball corner pocket. Doesn't even make sense. Alright, so swamp iron short. Swear to god, dog. Why is iron locked in here? Wasn't card banned, right? Wasn't card, wasn't card banned? All right, so land. We're gonna Baron here. I think it's more important to resolve this control deck, so. Sensor or something? Reprieve, sure. So we got a, a blue eye control deck. Seems hard for us too, honestly. 83, resub, thanks so much. Blue-white control. Obviously don't want to get Wrathed either. Uh, I mean, these do sort of come back, but... Stumble one drop's kind of bad. Agent... I want the Agent to resolve. Let's, let's do that. Let's, let's, let's Agent. This is going to be hard. What's, uh, what's going on with this? Everything right out there? Oh, look what came. It's my... My uncut sheet I won from Pitch Rivals. Who wants to see it? If you want to see it, say something. Oh my God. Hello, darkness, my old friend. You got manatized. Get off my plane. We just got manatized, folks. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. All right, so we're uh, we're trying here. I mean, what a baron. This is, seems tough, honestly. At least placing game one without thought pieces and stuff. Fresh, they're get freaking uncut sheet. No! Come on! No. Are you serious? Unbelievable. Uh, fragment reality, sure. Matite for days. Alright, so... We're going to go Mimic and one drop next turn. They're at eight. We're probably dead, but... All right, so we're going to just attack for, uh, attack for two. Tangerine restuff, thanks so much. Listen, I respect to get Manatite, all right? I can't complain. All right. Manatite is, uh, it's nice. Why no Cavern of Souls? All of our important cards are enchantments, you know? So, like, it doesn't seem that important. Like, maybe we should have a few, honestly. Maybe it's just not, you know, worth it to put, put, like, two or three. Doesn't help with this card, either. So, like, if you look at our deck list, um, doesn't help here, here, helps here, doesn't help here, doesn't help here, doesn't help here, doesn't help here, so. It doesn't actually work for well, much, much stuff. It's mail day. More packages, jeez. You can, all can't see this one. This package is, uh, this package is the, the Cassian tokens for the, uh, for the, what's it called? For the uh, holiday cards, so they're gonna Snapcaster uh, reality of this thing, sure. So we're gonna mimic. A lot of our skeletons come from other things, you know. Reprieve. All right, yeah. This is this is pretty bad for us. Like, name skeleton. Say go. We need our enchantments realistically. We're probably not gonna win with just playing. Uh, one drops, you know. They're gonna attack. Oh god. Alright, sure. You drop a Juka Bog. That's actually kinda cool. Bogia? Turn off any Snapcaster mages. Alright. Uh play one drop.
What's a song from uh, Nightmare Before, Before Christmas? Nicole would know. I don't know. I think Nicole likes that movie. S what? You're playing Spell Queller? Maybe they're more of a tempo deck than a control deck, I guess? This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Yeah, exactly. There you go. So I guess they're like a blue white. Yeah, it makes sense actually. Manatide makes sense now. Preve makes more sense now. Arc Mage's Charm, sure. If you're seeing it, folks, this is freshly brewed. Sure, I build it. I can we just freaking play it? Episode 75, I believe. Historic skeletons. We're one and zero so far. Somehow, some way, and uh, they're gonna attack us. Sure. I got an uncut sheet we're going to open up. Just a minute. Draw land. Come on. This is going to be a creature land, right? They have this freaking all the storm giants, too. Just got to say go. Was it uncut sheet? It's what magic cards are before they become magic cards. Just what, just what it sounds like. It's an uncut sheet of magic cards. Alright, here's a faceless agent. Ponderous Gandalf over here. Alright, sick. That resolved. Wow. No! There's a Lewis Changeling? Judge! Is this still all types? Even if the ability is removed? It's like grayed out, but it still says all types. Judge! I got a, a rules question about type layers and stuff. Alright, your turn, I guess. I mean, trading Conscript for Tide Binder is like fine, I guess. They can't activate their. Eh, they're stuck. Layers. All right, so they're gonna block and take three. We have more more haters here, more hater actions. Yeah, the fact that all their little exiles is pretty gross for us. Um, you know, let's say yeah, I guess. Question is, Tasha's tie binder does it remove the changeling ability from agent? So is is, is it still a changeling and it's still all types or no? It's dead now, but. There's a hall. I'm at 10. Yeah, we're just dead. Yeah, let's get a game too. Alright, so I got blue white like tempo. We got we have Manatite twice that game. So good for them, I guess. We're gonna bring in uh our bats. Sucks is like oh, cut the baron. Baron suck. Uh I want some thoughts. I want the bats too though. We gotta keep our creature count high enough for company. Swarming seems Kind of awesome, but like hard to resolve. It's good through spell color, bad against all the. Uh, it's bad against all the cheap counter like Manatites and reprieves and stuff. Um, Thoughtseize is like pretty appealing, but like what can I? I can't really cut many creatures. It's like we can't go too low, or our companies won't work anymore. I'll play without it. I think. I'll just get just get stuff in on the play. I might I might bring them a draw, but we'll see. Remember, folks, first thing we hit that follow button. Watching YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and support the channel, please. And uh, my name is Jim, Pro Magic player, full-time content creator. Holidays are coming up. I leave for the RC tomorrow. Regional championship, DreamHack, two for charities coming up. Less than two weeks. Christmas is coming up. Holy crap, folks! That means Christmas is less than two weeks away. Holy moly! Holy moly! Holy moly! Oh, I, I didn't show. A, uh, I'll show a card off after the uh, after the match, if my opponent ever shows up. Where are they? All right, folks. You gotta make sure you follow me on the old TikToks, all right? My new assistant, assistant's uh, working on it. Boom! All right, follow me. Am I so overpowered? No, it's the beans who are wrong. Should the follow Instagram, TikTok, on the play. We gotta keep. 
We also need a third land, but we can't we can't mulligan here. We should gas, so. Get the outcast going. We draw one lamb's hand's pretty awesome. Pro Tour in Chicago is in February. We're winning this year. We're not losing J-Row this year. All right, this is year five of Q for Charity. I've lost to J-Row four years in a row. We're going to win this time. We're going to win. All right. Did the Drew Land. Love it. Bingo. All right, so unfortunately, we're, 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 we're like prime Manatite candidates here, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Please draw two drop. Oh, my God. All right, so we're getting Manatite so hard here. I'll play the Asian, I guess. Team's the same. Uh, the same, except for uh, we now have uh, uh, Doomwake. Overset from last year. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll draw a Cult Conscript. Okay. I mean, I would love to resolve this freaking construct to pump the squad up, you know? Also, Corpse is pretty cool, too. If you miss the, uh... That's a good draw. If you miss the, uh... Tree for Charity promo, you can go watch it. I'll have to make a... Put it in there. Um... I'm just going to jam this freaking thing. I'll just try and do it. Let's see what happens. I'll be to counter it, but I just attack for three and play a Conscript. They have Spell Queller exactly. That would be pretty bad for us, but... Cuper Chari is also one of, my, one of my favorite events of the year, too. So, Wow, resolved. All right, so name Skeleton. So it's going to buff my team and my cards in my hand, which is kind of awesome, actually. So yeah, I have a 3-2, three, a 3-3, three, three, a 3-3, three, three, and a 2-2. Two, two. And we're just going to attack, I guess, right? All right. At this point now, they haven't done actual anything. They might have boarded a, a sweeper. I'm just going to not play this instead of go. Card's cool. I like this card. There it is. There's a promo. Charm, draw two. Sure. Alright, do they have a sweeper? Kind of weird in their spell call or like that sweeper, you know? <sighs> Whatever, I guess. Alright, so we get the corpses. Anyway, our answer's actually pretty gas. The corpses and conscripts. This is one I've haste, obviously, because it's tapped, but it's still not bad. Plants have a stork. Freshly brewed. Skeletons and uh, stork. Hands juiced. Like, really juiced, actually. If you saw my freaking date night stream with, with, with Nicole uh, two nights ago, it was Drunk Jim then on, on Monday night. Was that last night? That was two nights ago. Divine Purge. All right, so I guess they boarded out their spell callers and stuff and just became a control deck. That's fine. Our hand's juiced, so. Are they going to marsh this? That would suck. Trying. Coalition Construct. I think I'll just recast this thing too, honestly, which isn't that bad. Um, saying Go is just like a super obvious company. So what have haste, you know? They're probably going to reprieve whatever I play, I would think. I'm going to say Go. I think they have reprieve. I think they're like, and if I just play a spell and they reprieve it, it's terrible. So let's make them waste their mana. And then if they obviously, if they end step cast a spell, we'll cast this. Sure. What? Can, no! We just love plenty of hits in our deck, too. We still have 27 hits. Oh, that's terrible. All right. That's really bad. So they, they play a priest, turns off my company. We whiff on the company itself. Oh, man. The good news is if we lose this game, we need to look at my cool uncut sheet that I won for Tribals. Come on! That's going to be something here, right? Oh, no! It's a combo! 
Fragment reality and containment priest. I don't even know that. That's a that's a that's a that's a combo. Yeah. All right. Shit. Um. We're in some doo doo, folks. We are in some doo doo. All right. Let's cast this bad boy. Containment priest and fragment reality. Reprieve. So it still costs uh, more, yeah. All right. This sucks. <laughs> it's an interesting deck for sure. It's sort of like blue white tempo y stuff. All right, untap. Draw a mimic. Company doesn't do anything. Uh. Sucks is like I want to cast the worst things. They probably have a counter spell, but all right, let's uh, let's play God's Roots. It's a three two. Make him answer this. Keep going. Draw a land extra. I can go two spells, which would be nice. So, all right, we have Muta Vault. We have we have a handful of spells, you know. Outcast still chipping in. And step march this thing? Sure. Try to make them regret not, not hitting this thing, you know? So land, I would say like the other Muta Vault is the best possible draw in our deck. So land is also, you know, a thing for later. Alright, so untap. Ugh. We draw land. Uh, but, alright, so we're gonna, uh... Corpses is pretty important. I'm gonna play the Construct, I think. Probably not gonna resolve, but... Spell Queller, gross. Alright, so, sure. Hive's not bad, you know, realistically. It is, it is a menace threat, it's pretty good, so... Put them to six. It's not over yet. It ain't over yet, McGavin. Make a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you. That sucks. All right, so we draw a land. Go corpses and agent. Maybe that's our. Or, and they have no counter spell, maybe, possibly. That's a land. Uh, not a good one. Alright, Boggy first. They spell quell on their deck. And. I'm just gonna. Play some spells, I guess. They're not really in control, they're kind of like a tempo deck, but they were, they're playing supers too. Kind of a weird deck. Like, you really shouldn't play, have spell queller and supreme verdict and divine purge in the same deck usually. I assume they brought, like, boarded out the, uh,. The spell quellers, so that's, that would make sense as like a strategy. Like, you board the quellers and bring in Wrath, so against creature decks. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> I guess. Make disappear, sure. Uh, again, our, our company's thing is this thing. You got any more stuff here, or what's going on? Can I get a one drop? Oh, no, Priest. Man, insane. Alright, well, they're out of cards. Sort of. Got a raw dog, the tide binder, and three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're just dead. Tough games. Uh, Priest obviously very good against our companies and stuff, and the supers too. Yeah. That's okay. Game three. But first, let's check out the sheet. All right, the unexpected sheet opening. Uh, obviously, it was not planned, but it showed up today, so let's take it out very, very carefully because it's not very well wrapped. Thanks, Wizards of the Coast. The edges are all screwed up. Thanks, Watsy. Appreciate that. Alright. 
Here it is, folks. This is a uncut sheet of the rares and mythics foils from uh, from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. It's pretty cool. We'll see how much it's worth. I've always wanted to own a sheet and hang it up, but I can't like justify keeping it. It's worth like 500 bucks or something like that. I'd rather just have like a cheap one. So pretty cool. We'll see. Might be up for sale in the high-end group at some point. We'll see how much it's worth, but uh, kind of cool. People like buying these for like their their non-factory cut cards or whatever, but all right, back to the games. All right, game three, let's go. All right, um, this hand's good. We can keep this. Opponent's playing Lurus. Good mana. Need to, need to draw a land or two, but it's cool. Freshly brewed. You have an idea. It's fresh and new. Ooh. The Reckoner Raid. Uh, sure. Maybe skeletons versus, uh, versus rats here. Something. Oh, this is like a Rakdos burn deck? Uh, okay. That's kind of scary. Honestly, here's Eidolon on the Great Rebel. I mean, we do beat pretty fast, realistically, but... This thing flips not quite, uh, not quite the Red Saga. Alright, so they attack 14 to 20. We're about to jam for a lot of corpses, though, right? So it's pretty good. Skewer me, take two, alright. Not a lot of life game in the skeleton deck. They're gonna shock in. Play second Eidolon. Holy crap. Alright, so. We play corpses. We go to seven. And then I attack them for nine. We should like, die in the backswing. Oh, man. Um. Obviously, casting company is not an Eidolon thing. And that's pretty huge. We have a company available. I would just play corpses and say go. Go to seven. He might just die, obviously, but I think that playing corpses and then playing the company next turn. Definitely a game I would have preferred to win the die roll, you know, but is it this? So we go to seven. And we're not going to attack with. We could attack with one, because uh, they can't block us anyway if they attack with everything. Um, it's bad against a removal spell, but. I think it's worth it. Attack. Alright, so don't kill me. Every spell they cast is also 4 damage to them, too, so. If they play removal spell. I mean, any removal spell is also a burn spell, which would kill us regardless, so. Like, they have 6 points of burn, we should die. You know, so. Yeah, we don't really have much for this matchup, honestly. Not a... That's it? Just buy Lurus? Oh, they're dead, folks. We should freaking jam our company here. No damage for that one. Cost four. And give me some untapped skeletons. Not quite. All three swarmings. What the... What's, what's going on here? All right. Uh, so... Unfortunately, the haste is not really there, but I think the blockers are. And now, if I attack... The thing is, if I attack... They almost have to block with an Eidolon because they can't cast spells. So, like, we're in this weird game state, which Eidolon often puts you in. If I attack all here, and they take take all they die, they take three of them, they go to two and can't cast a spell. This almost just forces them to block with both Eidolons. Yeah, we should jam. So now, Eidolon creates some really fun game states. So now, because of this... They have to block with both. If they just take all of this, they die. If they block with one, they go to two and still can't cast a spell. So now both Eidolons have to block. They're going to go to five, and it's going to be us, them at five, us at seven, with only this thing in play. And uh, we are not going to bounce this thing, obviously. So, What's up, Oaf? Yeah, it's Q for Charity, year five. Q for Charity is best event of the year.
Uh oh, let's just end step. Uh, Alright, so five to five. We're dead to. Oh, uh, we're dead. So by. Meta burn spell. I mean, I had to get rid of the Eidolons, right? Uh, Alright, that sucks. Yeah, that was just a, that was just a play draw game, I think. On the play, we would probably win that game pretty easily, but. Alright, so. Only life gain in our entire deck is the Deep Cavern Bats and the Trespassers. I want both of those. It sucks that we haven't had to gotten a cast this card yet. It's just been like three hyper, hyper, hyper linear decks. Uh, so like, it just hasn't really been an issue. It isn't a thing, a thing we can do yet. I should have board this out, I think. Bring in the Bats and the Trespassers. The Vandals could, in theory, kill the Eidolon also. They have enchantments. Let's cut um, these Barons. And it's the constructs. I should cut the agents. You don't need any card draw. Yeah, honestly, Rex Age might even play too. Rex Age just kills Eidolon and the and then enchantment. Yeah, I think, I think there's like killing stuff more important. So let's do this. Yeah, the Baron might be bad. It's just, like, not a very good card. It's just, like, a bad lord. Uh, it's not a skeleton either. I also thought that was a skeleton when I built the deck, so... Let's try it again. Five mana enchantment, you know, it's a little tough. It's possible you could build the deck, like, more interactive. Just, like, not... Try and not be a tribal deck and just play... Just play to both enchantments to see how they play together. One Jame, what's up, my friend? Am I going to see you at the RC? I see, I see you in Atlanta. But shout out, of course. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Freshly brewed. Enjoy build the deck. We should freaking play it. We're playing Skeletons in a Stork. You'll be there? Awesome. I'll see you there, my friend. The whole family will be there. So, should be a lot of fun. When do you get in? I get in on Thursday night super late. All right. It's Batman time. Deep Cavern. It's funny. You know what? I might just name Bat with the Construct. It still pumps this anyway. This afternoon, sweet. All right, so it's Batman time. Our hand is Discharge, Strike, Eidolon, Push. We're going to take the Push. It's the cheapest card that deals with the thing, so take the most efficient card and attack. If they Eidolon here, I'm pretty happy about it, honestly. I guess it gains you life and a company also. They play a Painful Land and an Eidolon, sure. That's great, I think. I'm gonna name Bat, folks. I don't see the main plan, but I think pumping up this, this cavern match is like too good, not, not too good to uh, to pass up on. So this is a Bat. Yes, and this is also a Bat. It's kind of cool. So kind of a kind of an unexpected pivot to Bat Tribal here, but we'll take it. We have Bat in our hand too. So now it's 18 to 16, and again, of course, Life Link is huge in the in the Eidolon game. The Eidolon game is just all about like managing life totals and stuff too. So. They can kill us to get their card back, but like we just gained two life, which is gonna be huge in the overall long run. And we have a company, which is not true of this thing too. Oh man. Alright. Them drawing Searing Blood was a stone cold nuts for them, because it kills the creature and gets the card back and deals damage. Attack for two. Opposite of block. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, I got a block. They have three kill spells. I have card advantage. I have a good creature. Yeah, I'm gonna block. I have meat of all too. So I have one game liking a stork. Soul Scar Mage also. Alright, so I could just mimic an outcast. Or I can guess company. So obviously I should have killed everything that I play. They have, they have three, three kill spells in their hand. I think I just company at some point on their turn. Like the format I'd enjoy too. Wait, what, what format? Alright, so... You're playing Timeless later. Alright, so... Do we company here? I'm gonna guess company. I, I, I hit like the things that destroyed us also, so... Alright. Not the best company ever. A lot of good cards going to the bottom, but sure. Yeah, I believe we're gonna do cons ranked race to number one January 1st. Start the new year. Pretty bad company, but... 12 to 11. The old post-combat Reckoner Rage, sure. Alright, 
will... I'm just going to attack and play our hand, I guess. Hopefully, they'll use the strike on the outcast. I believe they will, I think. And then we get to go Mimic. Wow, really? No? I'm surprised. All right, so... Play Mimic. Just player one. They're going to kill Mimic in response, obviously, but still a good, uh... Still a good stretch. Stretch here. Outcast. They kill Mimic. I play... No? They aren't trying to kill me, are they? I guess this can't block. Hold on a second. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. I am just dead, actually. Yeah, I didn't I didn't do the math and then just killing me. They push this. 4, 5, 6, 7. That's only 8, actually. Yeah, opponent's a maniac. I don't have to tell you. This thing can't block. They're at 8, though, and I have 6 unblockable damage and a muta vault, so, like... They push this, prowess. They shoot me. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got a two. Muta Vault's one short. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, if they had struck me. We just love creatures that can't block. Alright, so... This is going to flip. They have an unknown card. These both attack. And I just play this and they beat ball back to block. Alright, sure. So we say go. We have four unblockable. Five to five. Tight game. They have three lands, all spells so far. Another spell or two here would probably, uh, probably, probably doom us. Yeah, we're probably dead, but fire meter vault. Oh, it's got freaking menace. I forgot. All right, we're probably just dead. Dead to any lightning strike. I forgot about the menace. So we, 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 had, we had no... There's no way around it yet. It's just like, so they did draw three lands all gas, to be totally, totally fair. Uh, but yeah, I guess they got us. The exact, exact damage to turn before they die. Shrug, I guess, is what it is. Uh, what are you going to do? All right, kind of bummer, but... Dems the breaks. All right, so not super great. One, one, two. Um, I think both like, as a tribal deck isn't super ideal. There's arc on uh, good skeletons. I think trying it out as a mid-range deck with swarming and corpses, then just actual real spells like Fatal Push and Thoughtseize could be a way to do it. I don't know. We'll try it. Let me know what you think. You do, folks. I'll be like, comment, subscribe. You're all great. And peace.